Hi, this is Craig from ThinkFlood. Today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to add a client device for your Red Eye. So here I am in my master bedroom where I have a Red Eye set up. Currently charging in the convenience dock is an iPod Touch running our iOS application. This Red Eye has been configured with a handful of devices and half a dozen or so activities. Now, let's say I get a new iPod, an iPhone, or even an Android device, and I want this configuration to be on that device so that it can also control this red eye. How do I do that? Well, it's actually very simple. The key is that the configuration is stored on the red eye itself. All you need to do is take your new device, open the App Store, find the free red eye app, and install it. Remember, the app is completely free and there are no per device licensing fees. Now that the app is installed, we simply touch to launch it. Because this is the first time the application is run, we must answer two questions. Now, we give it a moment to locate the red eye and pull the configuration data from it you will notice the spinning network activity indicator when the data is being transferred. Once the room name shows up, we're ready to go. We can touch that room name and see that we have all the same activities and the same devices that were on the original iPod. Not only do we now have two clients that can control the red eye, they can even both be used at the same time. Here's an example. Both iPods are set to control the master bedroom. I'm going to launch the Watch TV activity on the new iPod. The TV turns on and both iPods display the custom layout for that activity. You can now adjust the channel, volume, etc. with either device. 